Hopper, a 60 card format that has been one of my favorites for years, primarily because it is a format that prioritizes the most essential ingredient in the enjoyability of Magic the Gathering. That ingredient? Accessibility. Popper dictates that every card in your deck must be of common rarity. This rule ensures the format will always have an extremely low barrier of entry to play. It also has the side effect of making the format fun as heck to play. I and many others often describe it as legacy light. And best of all, Popper is no longer just a 60 card format. This is your introduction to Popper Commander. That's right, Popper has invented the most popular way of playing Magic the Gathering, and this video will serve as your introduction to one of the most compelling, dynamic, and accessible formats to date. Popper Commander, also known as PDH, is a successful, community-supported variant of Commander. It's a format that I believe has something for nearly everyone, from casual players to even competitive players to deck brewers alike. Presented here, I will share the rules you need to know to dive into the format and build your very first Popper Commander deck. And because of the sheer breadth of options available in PDH, I'll also be evaluating it from both a casual and competitive lens, giving brief examples of decks geared towards both metas. But first, the ad! Hey, you knew it was coming, but I have to keeps you on your toes? Okay, okay, for real though, keeps is sponsoring this video. And you know, hair loss is a sensitive topic for some people, and no one should be at a loss when it might happen. Keeps wants to ensure you know your options to combat hair loss. You see, two out of every three people will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. Get in front of the issue before it happens. Talk with Keeps 24-7 Care Support, where Keeps has a network of expert medical medical advisors, and care specialists to support your road to hair. Keeps is here for you. Don't feel pressured to commit, but do get your questions answered. Sometimes the best product for Keeps to offer might just be their award-winning, all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. No scary unknown cream, just a familiar product that'll strengthen your scalp. And you know, there is absolutely nothing wrong with losing your hair. You can be sexy as Fabio. Your kids remember Fabio? Is that a dated reference? But you could be sexy as whoever the hell Fabio is today, whether you're bald or balding, long hair or no, but if you want to have long hair or just some hair and Mother Nature is working against you, well, that is where Keeps comes in. Head to keeps.com forward slash Tolarian for a special offer. Click the link in the description. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring the video. Let's begin with deck construction. Just as in regular Commander, Popper Commander utilizes the command zone. Your deck must have a commander, but unlike regular Commander, in Popper Commander, your commander must be a creature of uncommon rarity. While there are a plethora of uncommon legends available, in Popper Commander, your commander does not need to be a legendary creature. The requirement is just that it is an uncommon creature. This in and of itself opens up an enormous new world of deck building options. What about the deck itself? Well, a Popper Commander or PDH deck must contain 99 cards at only common rarity. As in the 60 card Popper format, if a card has been printed at common rarity at any time within a set, then it is legal, even if there are other printings at a higher rarity. Gameplay Rules PDH is a multiplayer format. Three or more players are recommended. However, unlike regular Commander, in PDH the starting life total is 30 life points instead of 40. A player can still die due to Commander damage, but in PDH, lethal Commander damage is 16 combat damage instead of 21. While most playgroups will develop their own mulligan rules, the standard is that there is one free mulligan at the beginning of each game. In regards to legality in the 99, it takes only one common printing for a card to become PDH legal. For example, Monastery Swift Spear is Popper legal, despite the fact that this was originally an uncommon card in Cons of Tarkir. Since it was reprinted at common in Double Masters, it is considered Popper legal for both the 60 and 100 card commander versions of the format. Even though it was once again reprinted at uncommon in Brothers War, Monastery Swift Spear remains 100% Popper legal due to its 
its one common printing. Hopper Commander is still a singleton format. That means only one copy of each non-basic land is permitted. In regards to Commander legality, it takes only one uncommon printing for a creature to become a viable PDH commander. For example, because Rada, Heir to Keld, was printed at uncommon in Dominaria Remastered, despite multiple previous rare printings, she is now a legal PDH commander. PDH has its own banned list, which I'd like to point out includes cards such as Mystic Remora and Ristic Study. There will be no asking about no paying of no one here. In terms of gameplay, the lessened life totals and lowered lethal commander damage is very welcome. Reducing these numbers is arguably necessary for a healthy game flow, as having no access to rare or mythic cards means we naturally have fewer avenues to knock out our opponents. Another gameplay feature that is quite welcome is the fundamental and gargantuan shift in commander options. The uncommon commander pool for us to select from is over 4,200 creatures deep. That gives players approximately 2,600 more commanders to choose from than traditional EDH. This widened pool means we'll get to play with effects in the command zone that have never been printed on a legendary creature before. Have you ever wanted your favorite evoke or adventure creature to be in your command zone? Well, in Popper Commander, it's completely legal. As I mentioned at the top, Popper Commander is a format that will remain accessible and inexpensive for as long as it lives. Out of over 8,900 legal cards, only 240 of them are worth a dollar or more. To really drive the point home, over 5,800 cards that are Popper Commander legal can each be bought for 10 cents or less. There are seriously so many cool things about this format, but the fact that you can build Popper Commander decks for mere dollars is definitely one of them. With the gameplay rules established, let's now ask ourselves, what sort of deck do we actually want to build and play? The answer to that question mainly depends on which of two metagames that you, as a player, are interested in. I define these two metagames as casual and competitive. Let's have a look at both, shall we? Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, what do I do with all this bulk? Well, Popper Commander is here to remedy the situation. Do you have bulk from the past 15 sets lying around in elongated white cardboard boxes? I know myself and many Magic the Gathering players do indeed. My favorite part of Popper Commander is being able to build an entire deck for no dollars at all, strictly out of the bulk cards I have collected over the years. When building a casual PDH deck from my collection, I find delight in giving obscure, limited all-stars like Vampire Nighthawk and Gelectrode a chance to shine in the command zone. And I delight in finding new homes for so many once-forgotten cards in these bulk boxes. To give you an idea of what I mean, let's take a look at a casual Popper Commander deck that I've built strictly using bulk commons from my personal collection. I knew as soon as I saw Beckoning Will of the Wisp in my bulk, I was going to be able to totally indulge my love of flying creatures in PDH. Beckoning Will-O-Wisps is an uncommon creature from Baldur's Gate that costs two generic and one white mana. It's a 1-3 flyer that states, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose an opponent, creatures attacking the last chosen player get plus one plus zero. I am sold. This is definitely our flying beatdown popper commander. Suddenly my mind began racing at the legions of mono-white common flyers printed throughout Magic's history, many of which I knew I had just laying around. With beckoning Will-O-Wisp in play, my old Healer's Hawk, Segovian Angel, love that card, and Battlefield Raptor now swiftly strike with twice the power at our desired opponent. Dusk Rider Falcon, Free Wind Falcon, and Squall Drifter all await in the wings with a dozen more bulk flyers, all of them prepared to swing ceaselessly at our opponents. You can bet all this damage really stacks up, as our commander doesn't just buff our attackers, but all attackers who swing at our chosen opponent. Naturally, the deck will need more than just creatures to function. Upon checking my bulk for interaction, it turns out options were bountiful, as old copies of Minimus Containment, Destroy Evil, Disenchant, and even more were on hand. Popper battlefields beware, because beckoning birds are about to bombard your board. What about competitive Popper Commander, or CPDH? There are many Magic the Gathering decks that have been discovered for Popper Commander through rigorous gameplay to simply be more powerful than the rest. 
these top tier decks make up what is known as the CPDH, or Competitive Popper Commander metagame. If you enjoy optimizing under restrictions or are looking for more than just a casual homebrew, you could purchase and play some of the strongest competitive decks in the entire metagame for under $50 each. Let's take a look under the hood at a CPDH deck now and see what kind of power we can behold for roughly the same price as a Commander Precon. The commander for this deck is Sailor's Bane, a 7-7 dragon turtle that costs 7 generic and 2 blue mana. It states, this spell costs 1 less to cast for each card you own in exile, and in your graveyard that's an instant card, a sorcery card, or a card that has adventure. Ward 4. This seemingly unassuming and uncommon turtle is secretly a devastating threat in CPDH. Thanks to blistering fast mono blue cantrips like Mental Note, Consider, Thought Scour, and more, we can fill our graveyard with instants and sorceries so quickly that this commander's discountability will allow us to cast it for two blue mana as early as turn three. Our seven power turtle is nigh untouchable with ward four, so all we then need are evasion spells like Shadow Rift, Arcane Flight, and Slip Through Space to KO our opponent in three or less combat steps. Did I mention the astronomically low number of board wipes in this format makes the combat step that much stronger? And you can also Rest assured that even at common, blue has the interaction necessary to keep our opponents locked in turtle time. Negate, Into the Royal, and Arcane Denial are all examples of low-cost, high-impact interaction that we have to work with. While building a deck from bulk is enjoyable in its own right, the Popper Commander format has existed for many years now, and like all popular formats that stand the test of time, this means Popper Commander is being actively and thoroughly optimized. The competitive and casual decks I've shared here are just two examples of myriad possibilities that you can create. If you want to learn more about these metagames and find other Popper Commander players to shuffle up and play with, you can participate in the thriving PDH community. The official home base for Popper Commander is www.pdhhomebase.com. Here you will find the associated Discord and subreddit for even greater format discussion and matchmaking. Links to the PDH home base and even more resources, including $50 competitive deck lists, will be included in the description of this video. I hope very much this video has helped you discover one of your new favorite ways to play Commander, with a minimum cost of, you know, just whatever's lying around, and what is usually just a maximum cost of $50, are you considering building your first Popper Commander deck? Do you already love Popper Commander and are looking to show more players its merits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did find this video helpful, be sure to help me out greatly just by sharing it with your friends and playgroup or sharing another video from this channel with your friends or playgroup and then sitting down with your friends or playgroup and watching another video from this channel. That would be great. Either way, I'm confident that PDH can be your next best format for many game nights to come. Hey, thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring this video. If you are experiencing hair loss and want to fight back, give Keeps a call. 24-7 customer service with experts in their respected fields to ensure you are getting proper hair care support. Head to keeps.com forward slash Tolarian for a special offer. Click the link in the description. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring the video. time on Shuffle Up and Play. Today, Legacy, but not just any Legacy. We have two extremely talented Legacy players and myself to battle it out. What's your deck? My deck? You want to know my secrets before the game starts? It's okay. Yes, I want to know your secrets before the game starts because I have to beat you with Merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, no one's playing Merfolk in Legacy anymore. We just got a new card. Play an ancient tomb. This is another powerful card. This guy thinks he's playing Commander. I'm going to kick this spell. And I'm going to say that Urza's Saga that becomes a basic island. Shadow Spear. Ooh. The lifelink's pretty bad. He's at seven. I want to kill him. I'm going to 